I would recommend against the public funding of ours because it creates a artificial um, market that may not meet the consumer's wants or desires. And it's not the proper role of government. Um, when the public is subsidizing something like the arts, uh, it has to, uh, there are too many unknowns. The government um, doesn't know where to set prices or how much money to subsidize because they don't know what the actual demand is. In other words, they don't know what the consumer really wants. In the free market system, uh, all of that, because of the natural mechanizations in the free market system, that is all uh, taken care of because you know, like in the free market system, um, what the seller is willing to sell, he needs to find a buyer who's willing to pay what the seller is willing to sell it for. So the seller in this case is the artist. He knows, he or she knows how much money was, um, that his specific artwork is worth for the amount of time that he has put into it, the materials he has used, and what he needs to live on, he or she needs to live on. Well, if he can't find a buyer who agrees with that seller's um, price that he said, then the product is not gonna be bought. There is no way that you can have the government set prices and decide what people are willing to buy and willing to sell for. It has to come through some other artificial mechanism that could have bad unintended consequences. In other words, government could be subsidizing something that nobody wants. Now we have to also take into consideration that when the government is subsidizing something, it is taking money away from someone else in order to do it. The money has to come from somewhere. Where does it come from? It comes from the taxpayers. Maybe there are some taxpayers who, you know, Art is not their hobby. They're not interested in art. Maybe they're more interested in sports, or maybe they're more interested in uh, investing their money in the stock market. Or it could be an 80-year-old woman who is pinching pennies trying to keep the house that she has lived in all her life paid off and is now paying taxes. And as the taxes keep continuing to go up, she is fearful she is going to have to lose her home and become dependent on someone else. So then when you put it in the public sector where the government is funding it, we have to think about priorities. And it is, is it the proper role of government? Public safety is, of course, a a proper role of government. It is the government's duty to protect people, to enforce contracts, uh, to provide for public safety. But to decide willy-nilly whether someone has should be subsidized based on their particular occupation is the government deciding who are the winners and the losers in the marketplace and what should be funded, what should not be funded, that the taxpayers may totally disagree with. 